Hi everyone, this is Miss Amy here to do another front art project. Today we're going to be creating this fun, colorful, wax resist sea turtle. So what supplies you'll need for this project, you'll need a piece of watercolor paper or mixed media paper, some oil pastels, a pan of watercolor paints, a flat paintbrush. Um, this is one that's got that squished part and makes the brush wider and flatter, not the round uh, brush. So we're going to use a flat brush today. And then some paper towel and a cup of water. That is all we'll need for today's project. So let's go ahead and get started on our sea turtle. So we're gonna start with our paper and portrait direction to draw our sea turtle. Then we're gonna turn it this way to paint our water. So we're gonna start with, let me flip over and get a clean side of my paper. We're gonna start with a white, using a white oil pastel to draw our sea turtle today. And if you have a dirty oil pastel, you can just twist it on a piece of paper towel and paint it right up. Okay. So we're going to start by putting our finger in the middle of the paper, sliding up a little bit because we want some room up here for the sea turtle's head. So we're going to just draw kind of a big egg shape, filling our paper, but leaving some room for the legs and the head. So there's our shape of our sea turtle shell. And if you make a line you don't like, don't worry about it. You can just change it and make it work in your picture or you can start over because we can't erase anything today. So you have those options. All right, so for the head, we're just gonna make like a little balloon um, coming out the top. So I'm gonna just start with the neck. So two kind of curved lines. And then I'm gonna make, now sea turtles kind of have almost a, um, an angled head a little bit. So you could make it kind of flat and angled if you wanted, or you can make it more round. Totally up to you how you want to do that. So on this one, I made it a little more round. So it's totally up to you how you want to do that on your sea turtle. Okay, and now we're gonna start with the front flipper, which is gonna be bigger than the back flipper. So I start up here and I make a curved line coming down and then a parallel line and you can either curve it or you can make it a little bit of an angle there for the flipper. Same on the other side, what you do on one side, you want to do on the other side. Make the parallel line and then either curve line or you can slightly curve it up a little bit like that. So we want to kind of have them similar. Okay, now the back flippers are a little bit smaller. So we're gonna just come down a little bit, make our parallel line and the same on this side. Okay, so if you want to add a little triangle here, you want to add a little tail you can add a little tail if you want. Um, I'm not going to choose to add a tail this time, but please feel free to add a tail if you would like a tail on your sea turtle. All right, and I'm going to draw for the shell, I'm going to draw a parallel line inside the shell. It goes the same shape as this shell. Now, for your shell, please create any design that you want inside your shell. It doesn't have to look like mine. It can be whatever pattern you want to put in there. You can be creative with that. So around the outside of my shell, I'm just going to make some lines. Create the edge of my shell here. Little sections. And I'm using heavy pressure as I press down with my white oil pastel. We want a nice, dark, heavy line. So that's why I'm doing that. So inside your shell, um, I'm going to make some simple, like a diamond shape. You can do whatever you want on yours. Each time I do this, I do it just a little bit different. So 
you go ahead and have fun with that. And so then I'm just going to um, do a little diamond shape off the ends of that. And I like little triangles because you can't see the whole thing. And now it creates a whole diamond pattern on my sea turtle. Very cool. Looks so cool. And then the eyes, I just do some little ovals on the side because we're kind of looking down at our sea turtles. So we don't necessarily see the whole eye. And then two little nose breathing nostrils there. All right, now sea turtles often have a little pattern on their legs or their flippers. So I'm gonna start, here, I'll start on these flippers. I just make a curved line, and then I'm gonna make two curved lines that join in the center of that curved line. And then I'm gonna make a curved line that starts and begins in the center. It's like little hills, and they all start in the center of the hill. So those all start in the center. These go, go from center to center. And kind of see it's just a little pattern now if yours look a little different than mine it's okay this is the way i like to do my sea turtles but you can create them you can do a little different if you wanted to that is okay just this sometimes it kind of looks like a draft pattern like a little um this is more simple but if you want to be a little more detailed and more realistic you could definitely create like the pattern that you'd see on a giraffe that would be kind of cool. All right. Finish that off. And then I'm going to add some patterns on this. All my flippers will have a little bit of pattern. There we go. All right, and even on the neck, just a little bit, I add just some small patterns there, just a little bit. There we go. All right, now I'm going to take and color in my sea turtle, and I'm going to use any color but blue and green. So, because I'm using blue and green in the water. So for the water, so I'm going to avoid using blue or green in my sea turtle. Now, if you want to do it differently, feel free to do that. But I like the contrast in my art, so I'm going to do a little bit different this time. So I am going to go ahead and um, color my flippers and my head a brown. So when I'm coloring, I want to make sure not to color the lines. I want to make sure not to cover my white lines at all. So I'm coloring in between those white lines. There's the eye on that side, the eye on that side. There we go. All right. And then in between, so you might not get all the space filled in, just do your best, that's okay. If you go over the line just a little bit, don't worry about it, that's okay also. Okay, so um, I'm going to work on my flippers now, coloring in the space, trying not to color over my white lines. And I'm using heavy pressure on my oil pastel so I get a nice thick color. And then you can pick out the colors you want for your shell. Um, I've had a, students do a variety of colors, pinks and purples and oranges and reds and yellows. So feel free to be creative with that and create whatever you want on your shell. 
It's done with the clippers. <laughs> I might do some reds and purples on my shell. Haven't done any purples yet. Maybe a little pink too. That would be kind of cool. There we go. Flippers are done. Let's see. Ooh, I've got lots of purples. Here's some pretty purple. I'm going to use, do a pattern in here. So I'm just going to color inside each of my diamonds, like every other one, this really pretty purple. So in this row, let's see. Skip over that row and just do this row. Make a, a pattern of color. Making sure I don't color in on my white lines and then using nice heavy pressure. Trying to fill in the white on my paper, making sure the white paper is not showing through. It will a little bit, um, but we will be painting over that too. If you really want it solid colored in, you can layer your oil pastels if you have the time to do that. But I like, what I like about this one is when I paint over it, the paint will catch some of that white paper and stick in there. See on my example here? And then it makes it look like it's actually, it's water, in the water. So I kind of like that look. So I don't like to color it in totally with my oil pastels because I like to have that look of the water. Um, make it look like it's actually in the water. So let's do... Um, the stepper purple. That's really pretty. One more sh shape here. All right, and then around the edges, let's try a little, we have some a really dark purple, almost like an indigo, bluish purple. We can do that around the edge. I decided not to do pink. And then the next step, after you've got your little shapes colored in here, little area spaces, we're going to add some paint to it. And that's the last step to our sea turtle, is adding our paint. All right, let's see. I like this color of sea turtle. All right, so one more space and we'll get our paints out. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick my oil pastels away because we're done with the oil pastel part. And then I usually just kind of gently brush off the little bits of oil pastel and kind of knock it off there on my desk and put, wipe those little bits into the garbage because I don't want those in, on my paper when I'm painting. All right. So with this one, I'm going to use a blue and a green 
Um, it can be any shade of blue, any shade of green that you want to use. I have some really pretty uh, uh, like ocean colored blues. So I might use, I'll probably use those colors today in this picture. So what you want to do is drop some water in each of the colors that you want to use. There we go. And then make sure our brush has some water on it. And I'm going to swirl it in the paint. And we're just going to do a wet on dry. So I'm going to get lots of paint on my brush. And then I'm just going to put my turtle in landscape direction. Because it's going to make it look like he's swimming through the water. So I'm painting back and forth gently with my brush, making sure I go in the same direction. I don't want to go this direction because I want to create that movement and make him look like he's actually swimming through the water. Um, when the paint's having trouble going on, see how it started having trouble going on? I get more water on my brush, load it up with some more paint, and start again. Now, if you have some light and dark areas, perfectly fine. I also have a little bit of dog litter on my paper there. He always likes to leave little bits of glitter behind wherever he goes. So, i to remove that off my paper. There we go. There we are. Okay. And then I'm going to put... You're going to paint your whole paper with your blue color first. And you're gonna paint right over your turtle like he doesn't even, like he's not even there. So I'm gonna paint right over the top of him, pretending he's not even there. And then any little bits of paper that I had showing through, the paint will kind of stick in there and it'll look like he's in the water. It'll kind of give that, like you're looking through the water at the sea turtle. I just think that looks really cool. And I'm making sure I paint still in the same direction. All the way across my paper, all the way down my paper. I'll make sure that you can see it there. And the last step is you're going to take your green and you're going to add some green into it. And then you'll be all finished with your sea turtle. Let me put this one aside, get him out of the way. So you want to make sure you clean your brush really well. And it's clean there. Get some water on there. And put it in the green. And then you want to add some green. You don't want to paint over all the blue. You just want to add a couple places of green. So I'm just going to add some green in here. And we are almost finished. <clears throat> there we go. There's a little bit of green. Kind of blend it in there. It doesn't have to be a, it can go, it doesn't have to be straight across. It can be straight and then be up a little bit. That's okay. You're creating some movement in the picture. So I'm going to add a little more green and then we'll be finished with our sea turtles. There we go. So I imagine in the ocean, there's all the water is moving and different colors in the water. I just think it looks cool, pretty cool. All right, so there we go. I added some green in and some blue, and it looks like he's swimming through the water. Now you can use a hair dryer to dry this, or you can just wait till it dries um, by itself, and then your picture will be finished, and it'll look really cool. So here's my dried version. 
just did that last hour and see how it's already dry. And it looks like my sea turtle swimming through the water. All that movement of those lines going across the sea turtle. So thank you so much for joining me for this fun project. This um, wax resist sea turtle. So feel free to send me a picture of your completed project. I would love to see it. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.